Mr. Blaylock. Am I am I saying that right? And is it okay if I just do read? Read is perfect. Awesome. Uh just let's let's get going right off. Why beatboxing? Specifically like a PhD focus yeah. in that. In beatboxing, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh I I'm really happy that I got to do this. Uh, I, I have a PhD in linguistics, which is the science of language and languagey things, but I did my whole dissertation on beatboxing. Uh, wow. So sometimes I have to say that I have a PhD in beatboxing science. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the reason I got into beatboxing in the first place is because I was asked to. Uh, there was um, an undergraduate beatboxer at USC who tapped into a group that I'm with. It's called the Speech Production and Articulation Knowledge Group. They have um, access, they have a technology to make these cool MRI videos of the insides of people's mouths yeah. while they talk and beatbox and things. And um, they got some beatboxing videos. They knew that I like music. And so they said, you want to work on this project? And, and uh, I joined them and I've been in love with beatboxing ever since. Oh, so this, this is interesting. You actually, from your research, you were exposed to beatboxing. That's right. I had, uh, I had seen some beatboxers in acapella groups at mm. colleges and things, but uh, I didn't really know about beatboxing as an entire culture until uh, I started actually doing the research on it. Huh. Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, in your email, you said that you don't exactly know who is uh, at the top of the food chain and uh, at the moment. It's and... true. <laughs> Uh, things things move pretty quickly, and my head's been buried in my data. So I, I watch YouTube videos. I uh, I watched some of the uh, most recent Grand Beatbox Battle, uh, and and I, I try to keep up with things. But um, I usually rely on the beatboxers I know and who I work with to uh, tell me what to focus on and what's important. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, as you know, it's funny. Uh, one of the comments you know, on one of the videos like wow this is so long ago i'm like it's only five years calm down <laughs> <laughs> and it's like i'm gonna it's pretty soon i'm gonna yell at kids to get off my lawn um I... oh excuse me my dog Sorry. my dog gets really excited about beatboxing uh, oh yeah the enthusiasm i feel it yeah my dog uh frequently tries to climb on camera <laughs> uh -huh. so i get He's it too small he can't reach i'm sorry right. we were talking about beatboxing Yes. So <clears throat> we have a ton of questions and mm. thankfully, you know, you, you prepared a lot of answers, which is generous of you. So why don't we just get right to that? Sure. There was a lot of concern about vocal health, mm -hmm. which I was kind of surprised by. So particularly the, the jaw associated with uh, like lip rolls and, and lip base. Mm hmm. You would imagine that you'll have a muscular bias, but you wouldn't. I mean, you're the you're the guy, <laughs> but it's just I'm a hobbyist and I love to read on this stuff. Mm -hmm. So. To me. What are the consequences of that? You know, it's it's a really good question uh, and nobody knows yet. Um, beatboxing is pretty new, relatively speaking. I mean, mm -hmm. it's been around for decades, but as a as a thing that's being studied in science, it's only been really studied in earnest for about 10 years. Um, and so we don't have good longitudinal studies like across decades of beatboxers and what happens to their bodies. So um, we don't know what Napalm will be doing 10 years from now for, nope. for lip rolling for 10 hours a day like this. Nope, no clue. Uh, yeah. it, you know, it's, it's one of those things where... Um, I should say I am not an expert on uh, on like vocal health. Um, mm -hmm. I feel it's important to say that because even though I have a doctorate in beatboxing, it's not quite the same as being an expert on on jaw health. But yeah, um, yeah. But but I do know that uh, in terms of getting the the research um, done, like in order to find out the answers to these kinds of things, um, we need more beatboxers to go and find people who can study these things. Actual. Uh, speech pathologists or people who study the musculature of the voice, um, you can reach out to like local doctors or local universities and say, hey, I'd like to know what the long-term effects of this on my face are. Um, uh, I'm writing that down. For the most <laughs> part, you know, and maybe this is uh, me being a curmudgeon. Uh, first of all, I'll reach out to 
you say like phoniatronics and uh, other academics, vocal health? Yeah. Anybody who's got uh, a medical degree or somebody who specializes in, you might be able to, to talk to a, there's a lot of different speech scientists out there or yeah. scientists who work on the voice. Um, and a lot of them are looking for cool research projects to do to get funding and that are related to the body and health. And uh, beatboxing would be a really good opportunity for them and for beatboxers. That's interesting because like the, the, I was assuming like there's this ivory tower and you were this noble individual, which you are, you're a noble individual, but well, <laughs> it's like you're the crusader, the one man. There's, there's a few of me out there, well, people who are doing even better work than I am. Uh, in France in particular, they've got a lot of people doing good work. That's on interesting. Beatboxing is massive in France. I yeah. see all kinds of it. And, and they're doing great studying of it. In fact, there's a, a beatbox uh, conference day coming up. Uh, it's um, not an open to the public thing, but I, I was in, invited to go. And so I get to hang out with uh, virtually on Zoom with uh, some of my like the people that I really admire who are doing beatboxing research and and they're all over there. So that's uh, it's it's a very exciting world. Um, and in the US, we're just beginning. There's a couple people around the country who are beginning to, to get interested in the science of beatboxing. Uh, metal screaming technique actually is now pretty well understood, mm -hmm. which is fascinating to me because, you know, I'm old. <laughs> a lot of people are watching, um, you know, 10 years relative academia is that's just not that long ago. So, no. yeah, there, there was an explosion of interest mm -hmm. and I was amazed at what came out of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping the same happens here.